Homecoming. 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 With the Downer Brothers. Downer Brothers. Downer Brothers. Move it. You want a bunch of real estate in the city? What you gon' do? Call the Downer Brothers and the guarantee they got you. Real estate business, listen, let's get it. Real estate, real estate, real estate, real estate. Real estate business, listen, let's get it. This episode is sponsored by Jared Greer with Guaranteed Rate. Whether you are looking to buy your first home or renovate your current home, go to rate.com forward slash Jared Greer today. Equal housing lender, subject to credit approval. Restrictions apply. NMLS ID 301746. NMLSconsumeraccess.org. Welcome to Homecoming with the Downer Brothers. My name is Anthony. This is Anton. And who do we have here today? We have Nakia Pipion. Can you say that again? That sounds real <laughs> special. Nakia Pipion. <laughs> I, I mean, I really like the sound of your last name. Like, it's just, mm, I don't know. Anyway, enough, enough of, of, of that. Um, we are so happy to have the first African-American woman to be president of the Chicago Realtors Association. Did mm -hmm. I get that right? Yes. First woman president, black woman president. 137 right. years. In 137 years. Mm -hmm. So tell us, where are you from? We always start with that. Where are you from? Where is home? I am from South Side of Chicago. All right. Born South Ray. Side. South Born Side. What neighborhood? Uh, so originally from Bronze, what we call Bronzeville now. Yeah. She was like, I was now. about to say the low end. We're recording. Yeah. Uh, and then moved to Auburn Gresham. I forgot some. Okay. Mm. All right, cool. What high school did you go to? Whitney M. Young. Man uh, uh oh. Uh oh. oh Whitney Young. Young. The, <laughs> see, the, the Whitney Young crowd, they always feel like they're a little bit more special than everybody else. Feel yeah. like, or you know. top three still in the country. Still. All right. oh. So now she's going to statistics on us. Let's move on. Um, so, no, that's great. You, um, and, oh, my firehouse is actually right next to Whitney Young. Oh. Yeah, literally, we can walk like one block yeah. over. Engine right 103. Engine 103. So, what high school did you guys go to? We went to Morgan, Morgan Park. Morgan Park. Home of the Mustangs. That's right. <laughs> uh, MP High. Um, so, yeah. So, you're, you're, you're born and raised in Chicago, and you rise to become president of the Chicago Realtors Association. When did you become a realtor? Like, how, or no, not when, why? Why did you become a realtor? That's a great question. Uh, for me, it was, I decided to join the real estate group, if you will, after buying my condo. I didn't have the best experience. Uh, there are some experiences that I felt were, could be construed as discriminatory. So I said, you know, instead of, you know, just complaining, mm -hmm. let's join the fight. I mean, and that's really right. the approach I've taken right. is to bring a Gold Coast Lincoln Park service to all of the 77 neighborhoods. In Be Chicago. the change you want to see. Absolutely. So bring that 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 top notch experience that that you get in the Gold Coast to the entire city. Absolutely. For every I, client. For every client. I, I like that. Um, you know, one of the purposes of homecoming with the Downer Brothers is to raise awareness and access mm -hmm. um, to real estate. And that's why we found it important to have you come on the show. Right, um, right. And the only way that we can raise awareness is to bring people on who are in the fight doing what you're doing. So mm -hmm. can, you, can you tell us, like, um, what, what, what are some ways that you are raising awareness? Or not, or, 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 or I guess helping to make sure that people do get the service that they should get from, from a realtor. Well, I think education is key. Uh, that's been uh, one of my areas of success is constantly raising my educational awareness of, about my industry. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the association level, we just created the what's called the 77, which is a diversity hub, mm -hmm. uh, which brings a realtor that's focused on one of those 77 neighborhoods as the focal point to keep us aware of what's happening in the area. So as an example, we had a lot of unrest over the summer in the city. Right. Mm -hmm. Those 77 realtors let the association know, hey, we need to do cleanup, we need these businesses, need help. Uh, and I was just a part of a, um, a grant program about two weeks ago where we actually delivered some funds to some of the small businesses within the 77 different neighborhoods to help them uh, move through or survive COVID, if you will. Right. So those are just a few examples of what the association's doing to help bring diversity and awareness to all of the neighborhoods, not 
just one or two that we hear about in the news frequently. 77. 77. I've never thought of Chicago as 77 neighborhoods, but Chicago is big. Yeah. It and is. it's diverse. And But that diversity sometimes is segregated into certain neighborhoods. And mm -hmm. so, um, you know, the services aren't always the same. So it, that's why I feel like it's really important that, um, that, that all of these neighborhoods get access mm -hmm. To home loans, they get you know, which is why it's why we, you know we're proud to be partnered with Guarantee Rate. Right. Um, when they when they opened that office in Bronzeville, I I I remember driving down the street and saying Guarantee Rate, like they have a brick and mortar in the neighborhood over here, and you know I mean literally that's how I felt like oh so Guarantee Rate came right, over cause, here because you see them on White Sox Stadium, yes, mm -hmm. but I had never seen them in the neighborhood, so yeah, it caught my eye as well. Yeah, so it, it, yeah. it makes a, a major difference. And so, I and I guess the same thing with with what what you're doing. O only thing is, I don't see the things that you're doing with the, with the Realist Association. So, like, where would we see it? Like, how would I see see what's going on? If you definitely follow us on social media, but if you go to ChicagoRealtor.com/slash mm -hmm. uh, the seventy seven, we do have our own hub. You can uh, be introduced to different realtors who are the focal or the lead, if you will, for those different neighborhoods. Um, but we do a lot of community engagement, support, and involvement because realtors really are the conduit right. for the community. And so that's what we're trying to do uh, a better job of is mm -hmm. to raise awareness as to, you know, the powerful things that realtors are bringing outside of the transaction to each of the communities. Yeah, look, man, I'm a very big proponent for realtors. All of this trying to sell your house yourself. People be putting these big signs like uh, for sale by owner. And I'm like, eh. to me, that sounds like a lot of work. Most of these people don't know what their house is really worth, mm -hmm. you know, and it's going to come back around to the realtor eventually. Yes. Of course, I think it's best to partner with your realtor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, I'm curious. Um, do you think there are enough African-Americans uh, becoming realtors or full-time realtors? Like, what, what, what's your take on that? And does that make an impact on the service that these 77 neighborhoods are getting? I think, uh, again, the 77 is doing a phenomenal job just having been recently launched last summer mm -hmm. to provide awareness, both for the community and for realtors and people looking to join into the real, realtor community. Mm -hmm. So our foundation, the Chicago Realtors uh, Education Foundation, also has scholarships to help uh, minorities and people of color who do want to get their license. So there are lots of opportunities out there yeah. uh, from both the consumer side and people looking to get into real estate. And that's really um, one of my focuses is to increase the diversity um, in that top producer list. <laughs> yeah, I, I see, look, look, man, I see the shift. Mm -hmm. It is 2021. We have a vice president, you know, Kamala Harris, her sorority sister. Your sorority sister. <laughs> and actually, I, I'm going to keep it real with you. I wore this shirt for you. Like, I oh. want to just rep these colors real quick. It is for you. Oh, so full you. of it. But anyway. <laughs> oh. and, and then for us to have a president of the Chicago Realtors Association be you. Mm -hmm. th it's th this is major. It really is major. Yeah, and I because I, I think representation matters. Absolutely. When people see you and say, I mean, there has to be someone, uh, you know, uh, a young woman in Chicago who sees you for the first time and says, you know, I, maybe I can become a realtor. Maybe that's a viable career for me. Mm -hmm. I never heard anyone say anything about a scholarship uh, for uh, becoming a realtor. I, I never even thought about, like, I think about scholarship to go to college, something like that. But... A scholarship to uh, to help cover fees to, because it costs money to become a realtor. So, Absolutely. so that, I think that's amazing. So we have two: um, one at the Chicago Association of Realtors, another one at Illinois Realtors as well. Uh, mm -hmm. And we do have some minority specific um, scholarships. So I think that's it's a, important to get that word out. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So um, can we go back? Can you tell us, um, you know, what was it like? Becoming a realtor, like what was that process like for you? Uh, it and was how did you know that this was something that you're going to stick with? Well, I'm a go-getter. I'm self-motivated. So once I put my mind to something, you know, I'm going to do it. I'm going to be all in. Mm -hmm. But i got to be honest, it was a struggle. I mean, there's no secret that Chicago is still very segregated. Mm -hmm. So while I was able to very quickly build up my referral base, you know, 
there was a common theme with a referral. So how do you expand your sphere of influence or your network, if you will? So yeah. I had to get out of, out of my comfort zone. So that's one of the reasons I started volunteering. My, uh, watching my oldest son volunteer with City Year Chicago really was the impetus for me to start giving back. Uh, but secondly, it was like, I've got to figure out life outside of the transaction. Because as realtors, we just get focused on this transaction, the next transaction. Mm -hmm. But there was so much more happening, uh, including what happened with the housing crash. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's another passion of mine is doing some of the advocacy work behind the scenes. Uh, I work with Congressman Bobby Rush to help. Um, Our fraternity brother. I yelled if I thank the shout out. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> But really, it's about making um, the real estate community and property owners' rights, making their lives easier. Right. What can we do to help to advocate behind the scenes? But for me, uh, 15 years ago, when I started 15 and a half years, it was from scratch, cold calling, calling former co-workers, people you went to high school with, grammar school. Mm -hmm. right. Hey, I'm a realtor. If you know anybody looking to sell, buy or sell. So I didn't really have... Um, that mentor or that network, I had to really, really work hard for that. Uh, and so my role today, I feel like, is to make it easier for the next woman of color or person of color. Mm -hmm. And any other realtor that's just struggling and wants to get into the business, it shouldn't be this hard. Right. Right. With the right tools, with the right team in place, you know, my goal is for my realtors to live an exceptional life, whatever that means to them. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Because I, I feel like, you know, no matter what we're pursuing, because you know, as, as a real estate entrepreneur, there's different lanes that you can go in, whether it's whether you just want to be a contractor or whether you want to be uh, an investor mm -hmm. or if you want to be a realtor or if you want to be a loan officer. Like it's so many different careers that you can go into in, right. in, in, in the real estate industry that you have a village like we all need a village that we can go to for knowledge like there's people who are really good at this right and whatever you're trying to pursue you gotta gotta find somebody that you can talk to that you that, that's willing to give back but you also have to come with something too yeah. they have i mean yes. you have to add value <laughs> and i think when people say that word add value they don't understand specifically what does that mean to add value to me adding value is you see someone who um has the access and awareness to become successful with what you want and you find out what they're missing on their team. Whether they need someone to simply just be a gopher because they want you to go hang some signs for them somewhere or whatever it is, or right. if it's you introducing them to someone who's gonna further their business so that you can, hey, I know this person, can you meet this person? Now they're doing business together and now they see that you added value by introducing them to, to business. And so you can go out and um, and add value to a potential mentor. You just have to figure out how you can best help that, that mentor you're looking for. Absolutely, and for me, it's about paying it forward as well. You know, if I'm helping you bridge your gap uh, and bring and close your circle, I like to say you've got to have you know your own personal board of directors. Mm -hmm. Then you've got to go seek other people that you can help bring that same value to or a different value. Uh, and that's really what I ask when I'm uh, helping people engage: pay it forward. Right? That's the only way collectively we're all going to be successful. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I'm not going to say this is a transition, really, but I just want to say, like, we have used the same realtor. Like, our realtor is Rachel Ruffin, mm -hmm. black woman, just like you. And transaction after transaction, both on the buy and sell of our flips, mm -hmm. um, some of the apartment buildings that we bought, you know, but she's consistent and we keep going back to her. To me, it's not interchangeable when you're a really good realtor. Absolutely. She's letting us know what the rent rolls are going to be. She knows uh, what we want. She, she knows, knows what we're, we're thinking of. She right, knows our right. philosophy. She knows our real estate she, philosophy. She's always paying right. attention. And right. I think that's like what a realtor is. And that is why it's so important that people interview realtors and you find that match. Because, I mean, you're kind of like in a, in a real estate relationship, right? She right, knows what right. your checks are, your mm -hmm. needs and wants, mm -hmm. and she's thinking about it without you even having a reminder. And that's so important. Um, and so definitely you want to go out and partner with a realtor yeah. to find your realtor. Exactly. Mm -hmm. We say all the time, um, uh, build relationships before you build houses. And so building yeah. that relationship with your realtor is uh, a major key. 
um, building your relationship with um, your, your mortgage lender, like the relationship we have with Guarantee Rate, mm-hmm. um, building your relationship with the contractors so they know the expectations and then you don't necessarily have to always tell them exactly everything. Right. Right. So build these relationships before you go out and build your houses. And that's metaphorical because your house could be whatever it is that you desire. It's your real estate team. Who's going to help you achieve your goals? Um, the attorneys are a part of that as well. So. Right. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Look out the real estate. Uh, attorneys. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to our attorneys that keep the money rolling in. All right. right, right, right. So, um, you know what? We're going to take a pause right here because I want to hear Anton's definition of the day. It's time for Anton's definition of the day. On today's definition of the day, we turn to what is a realtor? The definition of a realtor is a realtor is a real estate professional who is a member of the National Association of Realtors, a professional association. And let me tell you, you can tell when someone's active with a real estate association, whether it's the Chicago Realtors Association, as we're talking with the president today, or the association in whatever town you all are in. I want to say, man, that this is not to be taken for granted. Realtors that are really active with their real estate associations, they know what's going on in their towns, whether it's political or whether it's an economic situation that they're looking at. And today, that's why we find that it is very important to talk to the president of the Chicago Realtors Association. So we can tell that the role of a realtor is is very important. I mean, realtors Mm -hmm. guide you through your first purchase or maybe several purchases and they help you to sell what might be uh, the most important or uh, uh, mo- biggest financial transaction of your life. Sometimes they're just helping you escape from a house so that you don't foreclose. <laughs> right. <laughs> it, it can be an all-out emergency, and a realtor is guiding you through that. So with all of that said, can, can you tell us one realtor transaction, one realtor experience uh, that was special to you? I have so many stories, but uh, the one that has stayed with me for many years is there was a young, there was a uh, family, uh, they had lost their spouse, Mm -hmm. uh, and they had also taken in their niece and nephew. Um, And, you know, when they first came to me, they said, Nakia, I don't think that I'll be able to purchase, but if you could help me, I'm happy to, you know, go through this process, but I don't want to waste your time. I just want to let you know I might not be able to actually purchase Uh, and that just spoke to me and and, you know we fought long and hard I worked with a couple of community organizations to help fund grants Mm -hmm. and things of that nature to help them with down payment and closing cost assistance and they were able to close it took us about six months Mm -hmm. um, just going through different programs uh, Mm -hmm. that were out there but we were able to close and I'll never forget. I mean, that person just broke down into tears. And you know, to me, that is why I wake up and do this every single day, is to be able to connect people with mm. their dreams. Right. Uh, and you know, she, they were just very uh, adamant that I don't think I'll be able to do it. It's a goal, it's yeah. a dream. Right. And they wanted to get in by the holidays. So to be able to actually get them in and accomplish that timeline, Mm-hmm. was just something that still stays with me today. And this was at least seven or eight years ago. Um, right. And so in that situation, they didn't know the, the process. Yeah. So you were really schooling them, holding their hand through the entire process of purchasing a property. We are. The, after a tragedy. After a tragedy and just imagining mm-hmm. uh, that your family has expanded unexpectedly. You right. Know, because, again, yeah. they took in, you know, some additional family members. So it was a lot of transition, a lot of right. trauma. Um, and our goal here is to help you achieve your real estate goal, uh, to kind of fit, fit the pieces of the puzzles together, if you will, to figure out what's best for that individual buyer or seller. Right. You know, when, when you said it took six months, it, start, it starts to make me feel like, man, that can sometimes be like how long it takes. My second apartment building, it took me five months to get through that transaction. You know, shoot, it took nine months to get through a short sale 
Right, oh, or 10 months, yeah. or maybe it was 10 months mm -hmm. to get through a short sale um, for a 203K renovation. So, I mean, it can take a long time. And I think that for people who don't know the process and they're unsure, man, a realtor is like a counselor. Like, you know, Absolutely. just to keep them in the game, not to give up. Because mm -hmm. they could have easily gave up, right? Absolutely. But we, I'm big on setting expectations, all right? Mm -hmm. This is step one. Let's focus on this. And right. let's sort of check that box. Mm -hmm. We'll move on. Mm -hmm. But to your point about short sales, realtors have got to communicate that. I think my longest short sale was about 18 months. Whoa. Um, so <laughs> 18 months. Man, I would have gave up. Yeah, like, yeah right. Like, I'll, just, yeah. I'll just do a traditional, conventional. <laughs> so <laughs> it's important. It? Why, why did they make it, though? Well, they were getting it. I was representing the seller. So my mm -hmm. goal is, oh, okay. at that point, mm -hmm. Get it sold. Right. Uh, so we got it sold a couple of times, but being able to actively communicate with the other parties to the transaction is also very key. Mm. So once we got that buyer, the agent who understood short sales are not, you know, a thirty day process, mm -hmm. and you know they were well aware of everything that that I was doing behind the scenes to get it approved. They were like, okay, mm -hmm. you got this. We'll wait. Right. But again, the communication is the biggest part of that uh, in any real estate transaction. Communicating. Uh, that you understand the client's needs and wants, communicating mm -hmm. the process, and giving people updates. Simple right. things that we take for granted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, cool, cool. I mean, sometimes for transactions are five months, like I was saying, but like the house that we did on 91st and uh, Creek Gear, yeah. we have multiple offers. <laughs> like, we must have had like four or five offers in 24 hours. Yeah. So sometimes it's really fast. Yeah, sometimes you, fast. You're up here picking and choosing. Then. And actually, you're right. And right now, correct me if I'm wrong, but right right now, you know, multi-units is our, is our lane. Like, we love multi-units. And it's a seller's market. It is. If, you, if you're a buyer right now, you better come strong, fast and strong. Like, you need to be on it and come with a strong, like, not try to be like, oh, I'm going to save $10,000. I'm not going to get it. No, you better <laughs> best, best off. Well, I would say Chicago's made up of 77 different neighborhoods, and they're all performing differently. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, so okay. some areas, yes, there are. I guess the areas that we focus on. <laughs> right, right, right. The right, areas right, right. we focus on. Uh, <laughs> there are some that are a buyer's market, so that's right. why they want to work with a realtor to find out, you know, what's the what are some of the uh, areas of focus that might help them. So, again, right. that's what we do. We dive into the data as well. She right. like, shoot. Step back <laughs> and look at this whole <laughs> this city map. All right, cool. All right, so this is homecomings, and we mm -hmm. always ask our guests when you hear the word homecoming, what does that mean to you? When I hear the word homecoming, for me, it means peace. You know, I think about what I do every day, and that's bringing people home, uh, bringing people to the place that is going to provide them peace, a refuge from the world. Uh, and that's, again, something that I focus on every day is how can I help you achieve that peace, if you will? Because when I go home and sort of take off the world, if you will, mm -hmm. right? I mean, just think about that. That's your, your, your respite from the world. That's where I recharge. And I imagine so many other people uh, use their home uh, to recharge as well. Yeah. Yeah. I like, I like that take on, on homecoming. Mm -hmm. and, and, and and I I hope that everyone is listening gets the experience having peace in a home that they own themselves. Yes, you know. All right. So, what's next for you personally or professionally? What's next? Well, you know, the sky's the limit now. <laughs> Crack the ceiling a little bit, but. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Man, you like you ascended to. I'm not saying it's a throne, but president of the Chicago Realtors Association. That's not a small thing. I know that's it's the politics not, behind that. It's not a small <laughs> feat. There was a lot of hard work um, and years of service to our industry. So mm -hmm. I do want you know people to understand it's it's a lot of hard work. You right. don't just wake up and say, hey, I want to be president of the Chicago Association of Realtors. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, breaking the barrier, being the first African and woman, African American woman treasurer of the Chicago Association of Realtors. Oh, you have the money oh. first, okay? All right. <laughs> so we didn't just wake up and get to the presidency. I've right. done the work, starting with the treasurer role, and then the president elect last year, obviously, and now president. But some of the other work in other community organizations that are important. Mm -hmm. I'm 
past president of Women's Council of Realtors Chicago and Illinois. Mm -hmm. And I think that's important because mm -hmm. women weren't always allowed to be realtors. So I'm very passionate about uh, raising the awareness of women that's, in our that's industry. That's crazy. That's interesting because like Did most, you even make that statement? Because most realtors I know aren't women. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, when I think of realtors, is, I, I think of women all the time. I don't ever think like, oh, you know, there's no women realtors. I'm like, so it's come a long way. We've come a long way. We still have a ways to go. Uh, right. Well, with Women's History Month, I, I, was, I do remember them saying something about it took an additional three months and so many days for a woman to earn the same amount of money as a man, yeah. which is mm -hmm. in the 21st century is crazy. Right. It's still a challenge when you look at leadership. So you look at the designated managing brokers across the Chicagoland uh, scape. Mm -hmm. Well, there aren't very many women designated managing brokers. Uh, and even less persons of color. So I think that's an important focus for me now, is just to continue to shed mm -hmm. light and opportunity uh, and make sure that the door stays open for whomever wants to come. Great, awesome, awesome. So um, we always ask our guests, is mm -hmm. there a charitable organization um, that is near and dear to your heart and how can people learn more about it? Absolutely. So in conjunction with Chicago Realtors Education Foundation, I launched the Xavier O'Joy Scholarship in honor of my son, whom you know I lost in 2017. Mm -hmm. uh, and it is a higher education scholarship for anybody in Illinois who wants to attend Morehouse College. So we do have funds available. We do raise money every year to support that. But that, of course, is near and dear to my heart, and you can go to Chicago Real Tours Foundation slash Xavier Joy. And they can go there to also mm -hmm. donate? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. great. Because yeah. um, yeah. we I know a lot of times we always talk about uh, how people can benefit from a charitable organization, but those organizations exist because people donate money to them. So please donate, mm -hmm. right? And I personally donate every year, of course. All right, so. great, yeah. great, great. Um, so how can people find you if they're, uh, I don't, I'm, I, <laughs> I mean, no, we didn't even ask you this. Can, are you still actively taking clients, or is that how? Um, you know, being a president seems like that's a big deal, yeah, a big being job. Being a president is volunteer. Okay. <laughs> it's a volunteer role. So. Oh, okay. So, so uh, my can, my real role is uh, vice president of strategic growth for Coldwell Banker Realty. Okay. Uh, oh. So I help um, put people together, bring people together to help uh, expand their growth for Coldwell Banker. Uh, Gold Coast, West Loop, and Lincoln Park offices. So, so how can they find you? You can email me or social media, just Nakia on Instagram and Nakia Pepe on McGriff on Facebook. All right, great. All right, cool. So we appreciate you coming through, giving your perspective, educating us, because we always learn something. We definitely don't claim to know it all. And, um, you know, and uh, we look forward to collaborating with you and, you know, future events, especially, uh, you know, when we can do bigger events. Absolutely. Thank you guys for having me and thinking of me. Right, no doubt. No doubt. All right. We want everyone to stay tuned for Anthony's After Set. You're now entering Anthony's After Set. Thank you for sticking around for Anthony's After Set. One thing I want to leave you guys with today is that realtors make real estate real. You want to always build out your team. And one of the biggest team members for us is our realtor. Realtors come with an immense amount of education they understand the market. They can connect you with other real estate professionals to help you build out your team and give you major referrals that allow you to make real estate real in your life. We want you to go out and build your real estate dream. We want you to build your business. We want you to pursue whatever it is that you want for your life. And when it comes to real estate, Make sure you get yourself a good realtor so that you can make real estate real for you. Thank you for tuning in to Anthony's After Set.